Jingle bell, jingle bell. Hey folks, welcome back to my channel, and yes, we're going to be doing another tinsel project. So I've still got loads of this tinsel, and I thought, let's make another Christmas project. Got some tinsel left, we've got some uh, gold, we've got some silver, and we've got some red. Although it's not quite the same as this, it's still kind of tinsel. So I thought this would be really cool in a project, maybe like a bowl or a pot or something. But I'm thinking maybe somewhere on the lines of a bowl, I think. Haven't made a bowl for a while, and hopefully this one will be really Christmassy. So I've got this red bowl, and I reckon this will be perfect for the job. If you hadn't noticed as well, I've also had a bit of a haircut. Trimmed a little bit off here, trimmed a bit off there, and a bit off my beard. Surely that knocks 10 years off me, right? So what I thought I'd do is get the tinsel put in here. We're obviously going to be using some resin. Again, if you want to know what resin I use, it's an epoxy clear resin, and I get it from resinforart.com based here in the UK. It's a fantastic resin. I've used it for a long time and it's really, really good stuff. Link is below. So I thought we'd stick some tinsel in here, stick some, oh, look at that. It's kind of freaky, isn't it? Look, this could be a Halloween, a late Halloween project too. Now nah, let's keep it Christmas. So we stick some tinsel in here, but not just tinsel. I think I want to put some wood in this as well. So I'm going to find some off cuts of wood, stick that in there as well, let it set overnight, and to see what we can make out of it. Hopefully we can make a really cool Christmassy tinsel bowl. Tinsel. <laughs> like making a cake. So there it is. Looks lovely. Kind of looks a bit like Christmas pudding. Yummy. So now we're going to pop some resin in this, leave it to set overnight, and hopefully we can make a funky looking Christmas bowl. So that's now in the pressure pot. We're just gonna have to leave that overnight. While we wait, we could maybe sing some Christmas carols. I mean, after all, it is nearly Christmas. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell rock, yeah. Jingle bell. Yeah, uh, 
pretty pleased with that so far. So um, let's get it on the lathe and see how this is going to turn out. I think before we carry on, we need to make this place a little bit more Christmassy. Look at this, coming on, looking pretty Christmassy, I kind of like it, and the, the wood little bits in there at the top, that's quite cool as well I think. And so far, that's just been finished with Yorkshire grit. This stuff is absolutely awesome, especially for resin work. Really cool. Shellow wax cream also smells like perfume, but probably wouldn't wear it out, unless you run out, of course. How about that? Our little tinsel Christmas bowl. 
turned out alright actually. I'm pretty chuffed with the way that that looks. I think, in hindsight, probably would have had the tinsel all the way around and not put the actual wood in it. Although the wood does kind of like give it a little bit of an effect and I do like that. But I think next time I'm just going to go with all tinsel. And that tinsel has come out really, really well. I quite like it actually. Haven't done one of these before. Um, haven't seen one of these before. So hopefully it's a unique piece. <laughs> That's always what I like to try to do is come up with something a little bit different for you. And I hope this is a little bit different. So you can just about see through there as well, uh, which looks like quite nice and see through. Um, and uh, this resin is beautiful. It really does turn out really well. It's really clear on the bits that you need it to be clear on. Look at that, I mean, it's almost like glass. You could probably shine that up even more than that. But again, you know, um, you've got to be pretty patient. Um, you've got to keep sanding and sanding and sanding. Um, and um, I'm not very patient. But I sanded it back quite a bit. Um, I didn't put any micro mesh on it, but I probably could have put micro mesh on it just to give it a bit more of a shine. But this resin will come up like glass if you really wanted it to. It's actually not bad finish. And I finished it with the EE Ultra Shine, as you saw, uh, which is like a cream that works really well with resin. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty, pretty chuffed with that. You can put sweets in it as well. Like that. Anyone for roses? So you can put sweets in there, you can put, um, um, roses, quality treats, heroes, any kind of sweets, you choose. Put that on the table at Christmas time, that would work a treat. So there it is folks, hope you like it, and I hope you enjoyed watching me make another tinsel project. I will stick some stills up at the end, um, and, um, and I'll be doing some more tinsel projects very soon. So just a quick update, for those of you that didn't watch Wednesday's Waffle, I've got a giveaway over there at the moment, uh, which is for one of my pencil, um, uh, castle pencil thingamajig bobs. And I thought I'd do um, some of the projects that I make as a giveaway, and I thought that was a good idea. A few people have mentioned that, that it would be nice to have some giveaways um, of the actual things that I make, and that's a very good point rather than just machines and tools and things all the time. Those of you that are new to the channel, welcome to my channel. Uh, and if you haven't heard, I'm putting on a Makers show. Just in case you haven't heard. It's called Makers Central. Uh, there is a link in below for the actual website. And if you wanted to check that out, that will give you all the things that are going on at the show. Um, it's in the UK, in Birmingham, NEC, and it's next May, 5th and 6th. Please head on over, check it out, and we'd love to see you at the show. Well, that's it. Thanks very much for joining me today and watching me make this tinsel bowl. Again, I've got some more tinsel projects coming up, and uh, so look out for those. Before I go, I just want to say thanks to all my new subscribers, and obviously thanks to all my old ones. Take care.